Okay. So I'll be just doing that. Okay, we're doing good. Okay. Now we can hop on to the next question here. Question number 11. All right. We have which of the following is the strongest acid, okay? So, we have CH4, NH3, H2O, and HF. So, for this one, we actually go ahead and, um, in a sense, directly add these all to water. So, we're going to write down four formulas, starting with the CH4. We have CH4 plus H2O, okay? And what does that turn into? Funny enough, CH4, methane, is a nonpolar molecule, okay? It just has carbon and hydrogens. And because of this, this actually doesn't even interact with water. We just end up still with CH4 plus H2O. Because all the hydrogen attached to that carbon actually do not want to leave the carbon. They're sharing electrons pretty much evenly and there's no reason for it to leave because um, we wouldn't get like CH3 minus and we would definitely not get CH5, okay? Because this CH3 minus, this one right here, the carbon would definitely not even want that because now it's gonna be all over the place. The formal charge is off. It has now lone pairs. It's just a really weird state for methane to be in. So this right here is not even, we can't even consider it. This is not gonna be factored in, okay? Now, NH3, when it reacts with water, funny enough, that's how we go from ammonia to ammonium ion. So, if this is now taking a hydrogen from water, okay, that right there, actually, funny enough, makes it a base. So, this would definitely not work because of the fact that NH3 ammonia is actually a base. Even based on this formula here as what we got, it wouldn't turn into NH2 minus. It would not want to get rid of any electrons. Similar to the reason of methane, okay, because the formula charge would be messed up, and it just does not want that. So it would actually take on that extra hydrogen, okay, giving us a base. And once you are taking protons from the other one, you are the base and that is the acid. So this right here would not be the strongest acid because ammonia is actually a base. H2O, this one's a little bit tricky, okay? All right, we have now H3O plus plus OH minus, okay? So now with this, we do indeed have a base and we do have an acid and then we have the conjugate acid and conjugate base. So water can take away a proton from another water molecule. But now the question is, which molecule are we referring to? So technically, it could be an acid or it could be a base. So we're actually just gonna do that. We don't really know. It could serve as either. So it really comes down to if HF, hydrogen fluoride or hydrofluoric, well actually I don't wanna say that because that would give the answer away, but hydrogen fluoride, we'll see how it reacts. If hydrogen fluoride doesn't even react with water, then technically C would be our best choice because at least some part of it serves as an acid. But let's see what it actually does. So HF plus H2O typically gives us F minus plus H3O plus. And there we have it. We finally have something that's actually giving away a hydrogen. So now that will be our acid and base, and this would be the conjugate base, and this would be the conjugate acid. So based on this, we finally have something that only serves as an acid, not either, like the water. So with this, based on what we've written through our formulas, our strongest acid, because it's the only one that actually just works as an acid instead of both, 
Think of Aisho kind of sitting. That's why Aisho has a pH of 7, because it kind of sits in the middle. It's neither a strong acid or a base. You can even call it that it's a neutral, okay? It's neutral pH, but it can serve as an acid or a base. But HF is only an acid, so that's going to be like a pH of around like, you know, maybe like minus a pH of 5 or like 2 or something. The point being is it serves to specifically one side, which makes it, if we compare 7 and like a 2, for example, we have a much stronger acid in HF. And NH3 was just all the way on the opposite end. It was more basically like 12 or something. So we don't even consider that. So that's why the answer here for the strongest acid is D. Okay? Hydrofluoric acid. Funny enough, that would be the official name for it. And you can see here in our acid sheet, HF, although it's a weak acid, yep, hydrofluoric acid would work better as a stronger acid because if we scroll down to where um, water is, it's all the way near the bottom, H2O, that is quote unquote the other acid here. Okay, so with that being said, HF should be our strongest one. So CH4 is neither acid or base, methane doesn't react, perfect, NH3, ammonia is actually a base, H2O can serve as either, so we don't know, and HF is the only one that actually donates a proton. So let's move on to the next question, question number 12. 